تهدي الله فلا مذل له ومن يذل فلا هادي له وأشهر أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهر أن سيدنا حبيبنا عظيمنا قرطع عجلنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه القرى الميامين وعلى كل من سلك بمنهجه ودع بدعوته إلى يوم الدين إخوات الإيمان لتعلموا جميعا أن أصدق العديد في كتاب الله وخير لأبي علي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشار لأمور مدفاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة دلالة وكل دلالة في النار فالعياب بالله من النار All precise and adorations are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only the Lord of the universe, the compassionate, the most beneficent, and the most merciful. The Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, خلق السماوات والأرض بغير عمل He created the heaven and earth without any pillars. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so big, is so gracious. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our benefactor, is our protector, is our sustainer. We give thanks to Him for His blessing and numerous blessings upon every one of us. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send His blessing upon the soul of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's also his family and those who continue to remain on his clear path to the year of resurrection. I beseech Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to count you and I among those people that will remain firmly upon the path of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ameen. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, call Allah azza wa jalla. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, who dear believer, Allah is calling upon you. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, those who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, تقوا الله حق تقاته اتقوا الله حق تقاته يا الله سبحانه وتعالى إن الفرق ده الله سبحانه وتعالى وانت تقول يا إيه تقوا الله حق تقاته ويا كمطلب إلا وانت مسلمون أن نرجع ده شجرنا ده السات يدار الإسلام ما جاب الله سبحانه وتعالى في الإسلام خطبتنا اليوم أن براءة الإسلام من العمليات الانتحاريات. Our topic of today is Islam is totally free from any kind of suicide attack, any kind of destructive acts, any kind of atrocities. Islam is totally free from it. Nothing wrong with Islam, but we can have a problem with some people that practice in Islam. Whenever we see any problems within the people that is practicing Islam, that doesn't mean that we should tag the problems with Islam. Islam is a pure religion. It's the chosen religion for, for even kind of health. In fact, it's the only accepted religion before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted it clearly in his book. In the dina, in the law, al-Islam. Put that on it. The only accepted religion, the only accepted thing, the only accepted faith is Islam. Alhamdulillah, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the benefit and the uh, favor of Islam. By Islam, da'a ila hibz al nafsi. Islam has called to protecting life. In fact, it is one of the five necessities. That is, it is the five necessary things that uh, Islam say uh, we should protect. Among of it is life. Imam Shatibi, Rahim Allah Ta'ala, says in Al Muwafaqat, Majmu Dawrat Al Khamsu, or Majmu Dawrat Al Khamsu, here, Hibbu Day. Five things that Islam has come to preserve, has come to protect. Number one, Hibbu Day, to protect religion. To protect religion. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the messengers to us. So it is not going to give the excuse for anyone to be of resurrection. Like I don't hear the message of any prophet. No. There is no excuse for anyone. Allah has sent the prophet to us. Number two, comes to nafsi. Another thing that Islam has preached and protect is that to protect life. Muslims is entitled to live on the earth. Now Muslim also is entitled to live on the earth. We are all creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that created everyone. So 
So they deserve to live on the earth. Likewise, Muslims also deserve to live on the earth. So in our book, Islam in, in our book prohibits killing. Muslim or non-Muslim, Islam totally goes against it. Another thing that Islam has come to protect is a nursery, the progeny, the generation, the family. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says anything that can disrupt the family, Islam goes against it. That is why Islam encourages uh, marriage so that we protect our privacy. Another thing that Islam has come to protect and call upon is a man to protect your property. In fact, in it is one of the it is part of the Islamic message for you to defy to fight whoever wants to take your property. Even if you die on that path, you die on the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the process that you are protecting your property. While actually, another thing that Islam has come to protect is what mind. Islam don't want our mind to be corrupted. Islam don't want anything to distort the mindset of human being. That is why Islam forbids any kind of gambling. Uh, uh, atrocities such as gambling and uh, smoking, zina, all these kind of things, Islam goes against it. That is why Islam prohibited it. Islam doesn't want you to distort human sense. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called upon us in Surah Al Ma'idah, verse 2. Allah says, our Lord as our Yadla is standing upon you, O my friend, in general. According to the tefsir of most of the scholars, the man said, he don't cover all of them, they say, What I will not allow the building, I am one of the Jamil and the Khaliki. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded every creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to support, to collaborate together in enjoying goodness and fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is all our right, either you are a Muslim or you are not a Muslim. We all need to put that together, to so join us together in propagating uh, goodness and the peace in the community. Don't support each another on evil. If a Muslim is doing evil, Muslims don't support Muslim on evil. If a Christian or non Muslim is doing an evil, Muslim also should go against it. If Muslim and Christian or non believer comes together in fighting, uh, the, the uh, prohibited stuff in Islam, even if it is being practiced by Muslims, Muslims can collaborate together with the non Muslims to fight the atrocity, to fight the, uh, the, 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 the prohibited stuff in the community. So it's our duty as a Muslim to support each other in order to do what for everyone to live in peace. Islam encourages that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala call upon us that if anyone comes to attack you in the Muslim community, they come to attack you, you must protect yourself. If it is non believers that come to attack you, you must protect yourself. If it is Muslims that come to attack you in, a, in the realm of Islam, you must defend. You must not sleep or look at all. That's not my own business. They are attacking the non muslim No, you all fight for that because you all intend to live in peace. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah al verse 29, Don't kill each other. Muslims should not kill Muslims. What I accept you and Kusakum, Muslims should not kill non Muslims. What I accept you and Kusakum, the non Muslims also should not kill Muslims. What I accept you and Kusakum, in Allah, I can't have you, Rahima. Allah is so merciful for you. So why kill each other? You are entitled to live on the out. Any kind of suicide attacking, bombing, homicide, any kind of atrocity, Islam goes against, against it. So if anyone practices this in the name of Islam, you should just remove Islam in a way and let him go separate. Islam is not infiltrating what he is doing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want us to kill ourselves. In fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, Don't even take your own hands to commit suicide. Don't use your own hands to kill yourself. If Allah can say, don't kill yourself, so why is Islam is going to uh, leave it for you to kill other one? Islam says, don't kill yourself. So committing suicide is a big Crime in Islam is one of the forbidden um, major sin in Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, anything that can that can uh, that, that, that you can use your hands to cause destruction to your heart, to your life, Islam goes against it, such as cigarettes, 
of uh, anything that can cause dangers to your heart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for you said, and that's the ayah. That in our life, every day, anything that you use your hands to cause for yourself, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for you to you. The Prophet of Allah who are in also protected in the, in the front of his Ali. Narrated Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him, says, Each time he will serve Ali will be caught. Stay away from seven destructive acts. Each time he serve Ali will be caught. Seven destructive acts. Here, one of the Sahaba asked the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Rasulullah, wa na hunna. What are those destructive acts? Number one, the Prophet of Allah says, Ashiriku. Politicism with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was sexual and magic. What of the nursing and killing a soul and let it harm Allah is that the heart of the soul that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden for you to kill. You have some soul that can be justified to be killed, but to be done by the authority, not the individual. The soul for soul. So that is going to be done by the authority, not by the individual. But Islam says any soul that doesn't deserve to be killed, you should you don't kill the soul. But a couple of nurses let it harm Allah in the happy for acting marriage and taking the offerings money for acting repair and the interest of soul is not polluted. But the one the young man Zahaf and running away in the battlefield is all one of the major sins in Islam. For possible the Muhsanat and the Mahfilat and the Muhminat and laying allegation on the uh, a woman, a chesty woman, laying an allegation on, on her of committing you know, a, or, or any kind of atrocity. It's something no, this is totally wrong in Islam. So, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Islam is totally free from any kind of suicide attack, any kind of homicide, any kind of atrocity Islam doesn't support. Anyone that wants to attach this to the name of Islam, we should let them know that Islam is like this. They're on the other side of Islam. This is not the teaching of Islam. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, even killing your own soul, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibited you. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in one of the hadith, narrated by Abu Rirah and the Allah ta'ala to Aswa said, Man qatala nafsam, whosoever kill himself. For anyone that might want to kill himself, that want to commit suicide, maybe because of the grief and the sorrow that he's going through in his life, or because of the, 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 the he cannot endure the pain that he is going through in life and he decided to kill himself. Look at the one that the Prophet of Allah Wali was selling as one. And other than himself, whosoever kill himself, they had immediately with any kind of tools such as iron, knife, cutlass, any kind of thing that can kill. And that's why the Prophet of Allah said, Fahadidatuhu, yet did he yet our jam will be at the battle he could never be had never. The Prophet of Allah on the day of resurrection, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be given to him in his hands. He have particular objects that he used to kill himself, and he will have it in his hands to continue, continually stab himself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him back, if it is tonight, Allah will give him back to have it in Jahannam or in their fire to continually stab himself for killing himself. Dwelling in that state entirely, not for short, for short period of time, continually, he will remain in this aspect. The first of Allah has also continued, when the Prophet and Nafsa of Zulmi, whosoever killed himself with a poison, on the day of resurrection, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him back that poison. And he will continually take a lead in hellfire and he's going to dwell in that state. Khalidan eternally, not for a short period of time. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, the Prophet of Allah who are in the woman that wrote that in Jabari, whosoever throw himself from the mountain, to fall off from the mountain, Fakhtar and Asaw, and kill himself. فَهُوَ يَتَرَدَّ فِي النَّارِ جَهَنَّمَ خَالِدًا مُخَمْدَلًا فِيهَا أَبَدًا مُتَّفَقُ عَلَيْهِ the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said on the day of resurrection, in the hellfire, he will continually, continually falling from the mountain in the hellfire. Once he falls, Allah will take him go back continually on this state. Forever he's going to dwell in that position. The only thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saw, symbols of his, uh, his heart. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, he's totally prohibited to kill 
the soul in the slab. Even with an infant or even an unborn baby, the slab goes in phases. The slab totally goes in phases, killing uh, each other. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our shortcomings. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our fear and to become the others. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. سيسان كومبليشن and any kind of atrocities we say Islam is totally disengaged itself from it. Islam doesn't support it. So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, we all supposed to understand our religion. If anyone attack any nation, any city in the name of Islam, Muslims will not be the one to say uh, that is how they, uh, maybe that's what they read in their book or that's what they read in the hadith. You should know that the hadith or the book of Allah is not in support of whatever they are doing. You should reject any kind of these acts and uh, take it back to those who are doing it. Islam is not in support of that. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the hadith, and I the Anas of Malik, says, ألا يتمنى أحدكم الموت لدور نزل به فإن كان لابد متمنيا الموت فليقول لهم أحييني ما كانت الحياة خيرا لي وتوفاني إذا كانت الوفاة خيرا لي متفق عليه. يقول صلى الله عليه وسلم في الحديث: None of you should bow to that or should have it in mind that oh I want to die because of the pain that you are going through. It's not the Islamic teaching. Whatever stress, whatever trial and tribulation that you are going through, just is not the first and it's not going to be the last. For the Muslim to think of it is to die, it is totally prohibited in Islam. Even if you are going to seek faith, it is totally goes against Islam for you to think of faith. Okay? Islam says it is wrong. The Prophet says, La yatamanya akadukum in mota, none of you should think of death. Fahintana la buddha mutamania. If at all you want to think of it, Say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that if to say if the, the life is better for me, oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve me. And if it is the death that is better for me, Allah take my soul. That is the dua that you can do if you are in, in, in grief or in a state of sorrow. That is only the dua that you can do. Oh Allah, if this is the life that is better for me, save my soul. And if to take my soul is the, the best for me, take my soul. And then brothers and sisters in Islam. Abu Allah al Rasul narrated one hadith from the Messenger of Allah. Says, "Awal ma yuqda bi al nas yom al kiyamat ijtima muttafaq alim." The first thing Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is going to judge human beings on that He is going to judge us on the issue that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is going to judge on us. It's totally different from the first thing Allah is going to question us, which is salat. This one, is, the first thing Allah is going to judge us on on the day of resurrection are those of unlawful bloodshed. Those who kill the soul, those who kill themselves, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will all judge their case. For you to know that it's a very terrible case in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to ease our fear, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make every one of us act upon the way of the Prophet of Allah, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive all of us because the heart is sweet. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep our feet on the Salat and the Sahib. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to and make every one of us in the Iman to continue to protect us. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to distance shaitan from every one of us. The shaitan that will come to it that will make you think of death. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to distance him from it. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive all our shaitan. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept all our ibadah. Allahumma, ya muqadib al-kulub, fadid kuluban ala dinika wa ala siratika al-mustakib. Wa ya tusadid al-kulub, sarid kulubana ala ta'atika wa ala siratika al-mustakib. Wa ya aziz ya khafar, Allahumma, inna nasalika al-huda, wa tukwa, wa la'afafa, wa la'dhinna, bi rahmatika ya rahma rahmin. Allahumma zidna al-baraka, Allahumma zidna al-afiyah, Allahumma zidna al-afiyah, wa salamata fi dunia, wa fi al-akhira. اللهم إنا نسألك خير هذا اليوم وخير ما بعده وأعوذ بك من شر هذا اليوم وشر ما بعده اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من عذاب القبر ومن عذاب جهنم ومن فتنة المحيا والممات ومن شر فتنة المسيح الجاء اللهم إنا نسألك الرفع إنا نسألك فتحا إنا نسألك نصرا 
ونسالك البركه ونسالك السلامه في الدنيا وفي الدين وفي امورنا برحمتك يا رحمه الرحيم اللهم ربنا اعسنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وفي عذاب النار سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك